Hi traders and all the rest of uh, my viewers, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube. This is day three, the conclusion of the first week of this journal. Um, just real quick, real count. Um, funny thing is, you know, when you're a trader, sometimes you, um, you do some boneheaded things. And even in the last installment, I pretty much said that I had a plan and I did and I do. Um, however, I kind of steered off course just a tick. Um, however, um, it's not a bad thing. Because as the market has come to a close, uh, I can say that it has been a pretty good week, as you can see. Um, so I am right now looking at almost a thousand in profit. Um, and there's probably about, I don't know what, 15 minutes left for the market to close. So um, not bad for three days. Uh, starting with two hundred dollars. Now, of course, you see that the balance is um, now three fifty three twenty four. Well, that's my bonehead move. Um, I had um, I had last night between two and five my time. I decided that I wanted to try to add a position up near the top. Now that was that was stupid, and that was not part of my plan. Um, but, um, in doing that, uh, I took a, I took a small loss. Um, I lost uh, the $60 right there. And so the two down there that, uh, the, um, uh, mini lots of 13, I cashed those out, um, just to balance out and to keep my leverage, to keep my leverage at a respectable percentage. Uh, I'm not really concerned about that because I can get those entries back in next week. Um, so no harm, no foul. Um, it's really just kind of part of the contingency um, in my particular plan. You know, the, the trades I have down at the very bottom, they pretty much anchor any and everything that I do because, you know, really right now I'm just sort of trading with the broker's money, if you will. Um, so... Uh, on that, um, I really don't have anything else to say. Um, I thank you for, you know, taking a moment out of your time to kind of go with me on this journey to the top. Um, certainly I hope that, uh, as you see this, um, one, you'll see that Forex is real. Um, it seems very difficult, but it's really not. Um, we have a lot of great mentors in our group that are willing to help. I myself, I wouldn't necessarily call myself a mentor, but I do like to help. Um, and that's also one of the reasons why I'm doing this journal because I want to lay the rest to the doubters and the naysayers that say that Forex is a scam. Well, you know, I just showed you just in a week span and not even really a full week. It's like three days of trading and I took 200 and I've, got it to now where you know like 1300 bucks um i think forex is pretty real um but uh that's it for now of course if you know me i'm gonna be doing some studying i'm uh, gonna mark up my charts and get ready for next week so um that's it for now and um I hope that uh, you found this inspiring. I hope that, you know, you want to consider this, even if you don't want to do it as a full-time occupation. It is certainly something that you could do in your spare time. Uh, look at it as a second source of income. Uh, it is recession-proof. The Forex market has been around for decades. It is probably the oldest market uh, in the financial world. Um, it is over $500 trillion that goes through it every single day, 24 hours a day, five and a half, uh, five and a, 24 hours a day, five and a half 
days a week. Um, it is an excellent opportunity for those of you that are now trading and you are trying to find some light at the tunnel. I hope that this here it gives you a realistic approach that you know you too can become a trader. Um, so again, on that note, I will bid you adieu. And I will see you on the next installation next week. Y'all have a great day and enjoy your weekend.